Hello, I'm Jackie West in the Press Enterprise Newsroom. Some big news announced today. Fresh and Easy Neighborhood Markets has been sold. Joining me now is reporter Deborah Grusecki and business editor Jack Kazanek. Both of you have been working on this story all day. Jack, let's start with you. Now, the sale is a surprise. What can you tell us about the buyer? Doesn't Ron Burkle have inland SoCal ties? Well, with the first question first, um, the sale was actually anticipated. It had been announced maybe nine months ago that they would try to sell it. What's a surprise is that a lot of people thought that people didn't want the fresh and easy, easy stores, the brand. They just wanted the real estate. Let's just get another store in there, another kind of, an another store. They think, they thought they'd throw out fresh and easy, bring in Dollar General or something else. Fresh and Easy is not going away, and that's what's a bit of a surprise. So Fresh and Easy still lives. Ron Burkle, um, it's not a coincidence. His company is called the Ukaipa Companies. He's from Ukaipa. His first job was at a State of Brothers at the age of 13 as a box boy. Uh, in the ensuing years, he's been a multi-billionaire with not that many inland connections. He's owned Ralph's. He's owned other conglomerates that have bought and sold supermarkets. Okay. Now, what was Tesco hoping to accomplish when it launched this experiment? As I recall, when they opened, um, one of their big niches was like um, easy meals, like one, one person meals that you could get on the way home and just put it in your oven. Um, that's something I think never never caught on. I mean, do well, you... Well, part of the problem, it was very um, trendy, and a lot of people liked it because of the convenience. The, it was uh, a European model that they tried to cater around the Trader Joe's uh, dynamic. However, uh, the biggest problem for them was that they designed a plan that was fast and was uh, built to follow the, the rooftops as the rooftops grew across the inland region, so would grow the fresh and easy markets. Um, problem was is this uh, kicked into place right at about the time the housing bubble burst. So um, the homes didn't get filled up or they fell into foreclosure. And the um, shopping experience, the um, party experience, the let's get something fast um, experience um, for the consumer just didn't materialize for them. Timing is everything and their timing was just lousy. Right. Okay. Now Deborah, what will Tesco end up getting out of this deal and will they have lost money? Uh, the uh, the seller and the buyer aren't revealing the price. However, news uh, agencies who are uh, very close to the uh, British parent company, Tesco, have said that uh, this involves a $126 million loan to um, Burkle and his investment company, which operates as an investment, uh, a REIT, if you will, for supermarkets and retailers and other um, conglomerates like this. Um, uh, securitize, um, securitizing the loan is the Riverside Warehouse and Production Plant. So um, that's the, uh, those are the terms that we know of. The corporate spokesmen have also stipulated in statements that they put out today that they're committed to keeping the 4,000 workers that are in place at the Fresh and Easy stores at the present. And, and the Riverside Distribution and Production Center, which is important to people here. That, that facility out near I-215 is not going away. So, But about 50 stores probably in the areas where didn't, they didn't do well, those stores will probably be closed. We don't know which ones those are. But if you're in a store and the parking lot's almost always empty, you can probably kind of guess that those stores might close. Exactly. Now, Denver, what distinguished the stores in the marketplace? I think that they had a unique um, niche. I think they were very popular in, um, in and near campuses. The college kids uh, gravitated to them. They had a line of products that were novel and unique. Um, a lot of people enjoyed the quick um, the quick hits that it had. Um, in Calamesa, the new Calamesa store, for instance, you can get off one side of the interstate, um, drive into the store, shop for 20 minutes, get what you need for the night, and get on the next ramp, and you're on your way home. Um, that plays well for people who are busy, who are working, and want to put something on the table fast. Exactly. 
And now, in the end, can this kind of retailer work in the blue collar IE? That's a good question. Um, people in the IE and elsewhere have gotten to like supermarkets with huge, lots and lots of choices. Uh, one of Fresh and Easy's weaknesses probably was that they didn't have a whole lot of brand names. One kind of bottled water, one kind of mustard, one kind of detergent. Um, people do like choices. People like the convenience, if they're coming home from work, of having a bank and a dry cleaner and a place to rent movies, fresh and easy. Generally, they're about, a, what, a fifth the size of a regular supermarket, so they don't have that much choices. I think, I think they competed okay on price, though. I never had a, com I, I don't think they were overcharging. I think they had some pretty decent bargains. I think the lack of choice is maybe what held them back somewhat. So Deborah, what's next? Well, um, we just got off the phone with a managing director of Strategic Resource Group in New York, um, Bert Flickinger III, and he coincidentally had just um, returned from a um, Goldman Sachs uh, investment conference, um, and at that, um, the sale was a topic of discussion. Um, there's some speculation that um, that uh, this um, new acquisition could be rolled into a wild oats. Mr. Burkle, at one point in time, was a heavy investor in that company, and some um, think that it's possible uh, that this may be a, an investment strategy for him, um, whereby the fresh and easy um, model will be um, cultivated, advanced, um, and perhaps spun off into a, a, a bigger grocery uh, conglomerate. That's the speculation, so we'll see what plays out. All right. Thank you both for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jackie. Well, that does it for the latest details and updates on this story. Stay with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. I'm Jackie West. Thanks for joining us.